Thanks for watching. And let's solve cosine plus sine plus tangent equals two. And you'll see, it's really cool. First of all, based on the picture, it seems there are at least two solutions, one roughly 0 0.5 and one close to minus two. So let's find those two first. And in order to do this, let's first dive into the complex world. So cosine is just e to the ix plus e to the minus ix over two. Sine is e to the ix minus e of minus ix over two, i. And lastly, tangent is just the ratio of the two. So it becomes e to the ix minus e of minus ix over e to the ix plus e to the minus ix sine over cosine and divided by i equals two. Now, why is this so great? This equation, as complicated as it may seem, is actually just a function of e to the ix. More precisely, if you let z be e to the ix, then this just becomes z plus 1 over z over 2 plus z minus 1 over z over 2i and then plus 1 over i times z minus 1 over z over z plus 1 over z equals 2. And what we would like to do now is just clean up this formula a little bit, multiply top and bottom by z, and then write this as a polynomial. So let's put this on a common denominator, and you get z squared plus 1 over 2z. And then here, same thing, z squared minus 1 over 2zi. And here, even easier, just multiply top and bottom by z, and you get z squared minus 1 over z squared plus 1. And that equals 2. And now, we just want to turn this into a polynomial equation. And all we do, we multiply all sides by the denominators. So we just multiply by 2zi times z squared plus 1. And you end up getting the following. So i times z squared plus 1 squared, and then plus z squared minus 1 times z squared plus 1, and then plus 2z times z squared minus 1. And this now becomes 2 times 2zi, so 4zi times z squared plus 1. Looks pretty complicated, but still it is doable. That's the nice thing. And now let's just expand everything out to get a polynomial. So then you get i times z to the fourth plus 2z squared plus 1, and then plus z to the fourth minus 1, and then plus uh, 2z cubed minus 2z. And that becomes 4z cubed plus 4zi. And now the next step is simply to gather all the powers together. So it's almost like a Star Wars thing. Let's gather our powers together. Just to write this as a polynomial. Okay, so let's start. First of all, the powers of z to the fourth. So there's an i here and there's a 1 here. So 1 plus i, z to the fourth. All right, now let's look at z cubed. So there's 2z cubed and then 4z cubed i. So 2 plus 4i, z cubed. All right, now let's look at the square terms. So there's just this lonely one. I'm so sorry. So 2i, z squared. Okay, we got rid of that. And now at z's, so there are a couple here, so plus minus 2 minus 4i z. 
So we have that. And last but not least, we have a minus 1 plus i plus i equals 0. So a nice uh, fourth order polynomial. But let's just clean this up even more by making the leading coefficient 1. So let's divide by 1 plus i on all sides. Boom, 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 boom. 0 over 1 plus i is 0. And just like black pen, red pen says, i don't like to be on the bottom. So for all those other terms, multiply by 1 minus i and simplify this a little bit. But in any case, summa summarum, after all this work, we finally get the following polynomial z to the fourth plus minus 1 minus 3i z cubed and then plus 1 plus i z squared and then what about z minus 3 minus i z and finally minus 1 plus i over 1 plus i I believe it's just i equals so this eix that we wanted satisfies this big fourth order polynomial, which is a good thing. Why? Because there is an explicit formula, like the quadratic formula, that tells us exactly what the solutions are. So in theory, what you can do, you can plug in the coefficients in that formula and get the roots ex explicitly. The only problem is this formula is very long and it would take probably an hour for me just to plug in all the values. So what we can do, we can take the pure math route and say, I'm content. There are four solutions here. Or we can take the applied math route, because I'm an applied mathematician now, apparently, and approximate the roots. So if you use your friend Wolfram Alpha, for instance, you now get the following four approximate roots. So we do get those four contestants here, so those four solutions to the polynomial equation, but there are two imposters in this equation. Two of those roots are sus. Why? Because remember z was eix, where x is a real number. So the absolute value of z should be 1. The solution should be on the unit circle. But there are two of them that do not lie on the unit circle, which is this one since the imaginary part is way too big. And this one, since this real number is really small and this imaginary number is also very small. In fact, here's a picture where you can see that two roots are not on the unit circle. The other ones, though, are fine. The absolute value is roughly 1. So in fact, those are the two legit roots of the polynomial. And all that's left to do is to find this x. But this is not too bad. x is an angle. So it is arctangent of imaginary over real. So one value that's legit is given by arctangent of 0 0.53 over 0 0.85. And this one gives a value of roughly 0 0.56, which is that 0 0.5 we're talking about. So that's one thing. And the other one, we just have to be a little bit careful here, because this root lies in the third quadrant. But that's not a big problem. All we'll do, we'll do arctangent of y over x and subtract pi from it 
just for it to be on the third quadrant, and we then get x is arctangent of, in this case, 0 0.96 over 0 0.29 minus pi, and that gives us roughly minus 1.86 which is the other root we're talking about. So we said there are two roots, one roughly 0 0.5, which is here, one roughly minus 2. And so those are two solutions of the equation. And last but not least, how do you get all of them? Well, luckily the equation is periodic of period 2 pi. So to those roots, you just add 2 times myself. So 2 pi m and 2 pi m, where m is any integer. Ah, don't you wish my name was tau? Then you can just say add multiples of myself. But it's OK. I can handle the pi m. All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.